Hey, it's Danelle, and today we are talking about value and benefits and the difference between those two terms. It may sound like just a couple of words and a bit of language stuff, but for me, this is one of those critical concepts that we've just got to get across if we want to start thinking differently about how we build and run our organizations and what it means to interact and organize ourselves at scale. So these two words probably get used interchangeably in a lot of the organizations that I work with. Uh, we'll talk about value to customers, we'll talk about the benefits that the customers are getting. And for me, I like to keep those two words very, very separate. They have very, very different meaning whenever I walk into an organization. So first up, value. Value is defined by customers in their words, it's the things that we do to make their lives better, to solve their problems, and it's about what customers want, when they want it, how they want it, what matters to them, what's important to them. Value is something that has to come from our customers. On the other hand, benefits, well, those are all of the things that we get, all of the all of the stuff that we get for doing a good job. So I'm talking profits, I'm talking process efficiencies, I'm talking capability improvement. And those things are generally things that we're pretty pleased about with ourselves for having achieved, but actually customers don't care squat about benefits. They're really interested in value. And just as a side note, if I hear one more executive tell me that our customers value us being a profitable company so that we can continue to deliver to them, you're going to get a slap through the internet. So what does that look like in practice? Well, uh, I always make sure that in any program of work or any initiative or um, any, any client that I'm working with, we set up a really clear distinction between those two words. Because what it means is it helps us to create a greater focus in terms of uh, being honest with ourselves about the reason for why we're doing work um, and why we might be prioritizing one thing over another. Uh, think of it this way. If you were a bank and you wanted to sell more mortgages, if we were to construct a program of work where the outcome was sell more mortgages, clear benefit to the organization, improved sales revenues, yep, got it, understand why we would want to do that. But if we set the outcome as selling more mortgages, you can imagine the types of projects that might fit under that outcome and the types of things that we might do to try and achieve that outcome. Could be things like a digital mortgage broker, um, improved home loan rate calculators, Maybe there's a sales push out to new home buyers because that's the new target market. Um, or conversely, maybe it's a push out to um, some of those people that already have an investment property and are looking to scale up because they've got the capital available. Really clear sense of the type of work that comes through in that program. Now, if you flip your thinking over and say, well, what is it that is really of value to customers? Well, straight up, I don't know anyone who's actually ever said to me that they want a mortgage. I have met a whole bunch of people that said that they wanted to move into a home. And so if we were to construct a program where the outcome that we're looking for was to help customers into a home, you can imagine that the type of work, the type of projects that fall out of that would be entirely different. So we might start to look at things like understanding if the neighborhood is a right fit for our customers, proximity to local schools, public transport, and starting to work out what are those things that are going to help our customers to feel at home and to fit into a home. And yeah, as a result, they're going to buy a mortgage with us because we're able to talk to them about the things that actually matter as opposed to getting into a really cold conversation about the hard sell around the interest rates and those sorts of things. So what we're looking for in the distinction between those two terms is the shift in thinking that's going to help us to refocus on what's really important. And when I say that, I mean refocus on what's important for our customers. So to recap, value, 
something that is defined by our customers. It's what they want. It's when they want it. It's how they want it. It's what matters to them as an end user, as an end customer, as an individual. There ain't no such thing as internal customers, so let's just put that one to a side. Benefits are those things that we get for doing a great job. We get profits, we get efficiencies, we get capability development, all of incredible benefit to the organization. And I'm not saying that money is not important. We must run a sustainable business to ensure that we can keep delivering on our purpose. But let's get really, really clear about the distinction between when we're working on something that is for our customers and adding value for our customers versus when we are working on something that's going to give benefit to the organization. And then we can be honest about balancing out some of those priorities. So next week, I thought it'd be really cool to talk about curves. Now that you've got this concept of value and benefit, uh, next week, I reckon we dive into this idea of value curves and how that happens within regular projects day to day that run in a traditional sense and what that looks like when we start to shift it up and to reprioritize, to refocus. Uh, and I'll teach you a couple of cool techniques that will help you make sure that you're delivering more value more quickly. Have an awesome day wherever you are. I hope it's beautiful and sunny and enjoyable. And I will see you next week.